minutes and 47 seconds of opening credits with an owl screensaver. Hell yeah, David Bowie! Wait a minute. Damn it, this is 1980s David Bowie. In this case, more opportunities for toy money. Jennifer Connelly isn't old enough to be hot yet. Give me the child. Acting out something that is going to be real later cliche. Hey, that's the title of the movie. Also, roll credits. She treats me like a wicked stepmother in a fairy story no matter what I say. I'll talk to her. Because she needs a man's voice to get through to her. Almost everything in Sarah's room has something to do with the movie later. Except Judge Dredd. Why is Judge Dredd so prominent here? Lancelot! Someone has been in my room again! Good God, this girl is always acting, isn't she? Why aren't you crying? Well, since we just sat through what felt like ten hours of crying, maybe he went to sleep. Do you actually want to hear that again? It is that I don't appreciate what you're trying to do for me, but I want my brother back. <laughs> He's only a half-brother. Don't defy me. Or I'll throw a snake at you that turns into a harmless scarf. You have 13 hours in which to solve the labyrinth. Arbitrary deadline is arbitrary. Well, come on, feet. Sarah's feet are powered by verbal commands. Puppet urine. I thought Hoggle was killing these fairies since he was counting each one he sprayed, but apparently he's just counting how many times he's been a dick to fairies. You get seen there. Oh, through the magical door that wasn't there before. Children's imaginations are so awesome. Thanks for nothing, Hogwart. I feel the same way about that school as you do, Sarah. I liken me some fun guys. Sarah does her best take on me impersonation with the labyrinth walls. Sometimes when you read this clock, nine is six and six is nine, and sometimes it's capital L o'clock. Also, the clocks can strike 13 in this castle, so I guess George Orwell was right. It's a babe. Oh, damn it. You're about to 1980s David Bowie, aren't you? This dance, David Bowie's family jewels. If Sarah's imagining all this, she can think of things happening out of her sight, but make it so she's not aware these things are happening. That is incredible objectivity for an imagination. Stunt baby. So is being in the helpful hands creepy Uncle Hell or creepy Uncle Heaven? Nice young girl, terrible black oubliette. That's racist. Oh no, you're not. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry, just doing my job. Well, do this is where actors go when they tear down the fourth wall. They become walls. Boggle is getting way too close to the Bowie Bulge for a kid's movie. How are you enjoying my labyrinth? It's a piece of cake. Why would you say this? Hmm, when the goblin Bowie threw this crystal ball down the hallway, I thought he created a basic kill device, but it looks like this machine is operated by little creatures doing their everyday job, and they look in no way concerned as to whether or not they kill anyone. Ah! A ladder! If this is a room with a ladder, why was the room even sealed in the first place? Ah, oh, well, since this is a fantasy movie, I'll give this half a cent. I don't know why this shot needed to be a special effect, but maybe it's because they needed that hidden Bowie face in the rock. Come on, I wanna knock. You can still knock without putting that back in his mouth, right? I've just noticed your lovely jewels are missing. I wish Bowie's lovely jewels were missing. I've got a much better plan, Hoggle. Jareth forgets to forget Hoggle's real name. Give her this. Fairy tale poison fruit cliche. I'm surprised at you losing your head over a girl. I ain't lost my head. Boggle suddenly turns into Amos and or Andy. If she ever kisses you, I'll turn you into a prince. Prince of the land of stench. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, why am I laughing again? Evil Labyrinth traps Sarah in a horrible blue screen world. This guy swallowed his eyes and now they're back in his eye sockets. This creature's digestive system sends food to his eye sockets. All labyrinths come standard with safety branches in case of unexpected fall. How did this asshole get down here? Okay, so Ludo has the power to summon rocks, but why did this particular rock come to the rescue? Why didn't other rocks come out of nowhere and try to help? Did Ludo just talk to this one rock? Well, damn, he didn't even need to summon the first rock. He could have just told these rocks to appear out of nowhere. Also, how did he know there was absolutely no rock underneath Sarah, but there were tons of complimentary rocks around her to form a path? Also, if these rocks have been swimming around in the bog of eternal stench, wouldn't Sarah touching them mean that she'll stink forever? As the dwarf warned, you can't get a little bit stinky. Can't thou summon up the very rocks? Sure, rocks friends. I wonder what the rocks get out of this relationship. Fox and the Hound. We interrupt Labyrinth to bring you this David Bowie music video. All it takes to get out of the Poison Peach Dream World is taking a chair and smashing out of it. Also, what is the point of the Poison Peach Dream World if the victim can just take something imaginary and smash something imaginary to get out? Do two imaginaries make a real? Ah, get off my back! This creature with junk in the trunk was just standing still doing nothing in particular until Sarah rudely got on her back. Well, look here. Mm -hmm. Did the Skeksis Chamberlain just enter the movie? Don't you like your toys? It's all junk. Take that, Madonna. I'm using my imagination to try and figure out how Ludo and Sir Didymus ended up in the junkyard looking for Sarah, but all I can come up with is fire-breathing dragons flew them here. Also, I think it's because they rolled a 14 with their d20. I smell trouble. I'd say not. Nick Nolte is probably miles away from here. Abandon ship! What the hell happened? Was that an explosion? 
Did Davy Bowie take up too much of this movie's budget? Let's get that rat who calls himself Jareth. Can't Jareth hear what Hoggle just said? Why can't Jareth send him to the bog of eternal stench right now? Your Highness, the girl. What? The girl who ate the pizza and forgot everything. What of her? She's here. With How the hell does Jareth not know this? Has he been having so much fun babysitting that he just forgot about her and figured he'd won? I'm surprised how many poop and pee jokes made it into this Jim Henson production. Also, this joke is kind of raw. Not only is the fountain peeing, but there's a cock right next to it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, pizza cake. Why would you say this? <laughs> okay, so is that it? None of the other knights can attack Sir Didymus now? <laughs> This cannon shoots at nothing in particular. Took a while for these assholes to show up. They were like five feet away from him the whole time. Saxum ex machina. I love how Jim Henson populates his worlds with little details like this. I'm gonna take a sin away. Wait a minute, is that a string I see? Okay, uh, uh, that's a sin. I know, we're assholes. David Bowie doesn't sing a song to get out of this mess. The expression, whoa Nelly. These chains don't do anything for any particular security reason. Oh, hell no, Bowie. You are not singing your way out of this M.C. Escher painting this time. Digital stunt, baby. I'm not sure this is a kid's movie. I'm gonna have to consult my Bruno Bettelheim about Bowie bulges and female-centric fairy tales. <sighs> Ground control to Major Tom? Stop motion Jennifer Connelly. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> I'm guessing this is gonna require a lot of therapy. Stench. You'll smell bad for the rest of your life. I wish. I wish. Oh, I wish, I wish I hadn't killed that fish. of many men, Sir Knight. None shall pass. I command you, as King of the Britons, to stand aside. I move for no man. Happy birthday, Molly. Oh, deja vu. A deja vu is usually a glitch in the Matrix. It happens when they change something. Call my name, Bastion. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. Now oh, I have to face stupid reality again. Shall we take a look at some paradoxical architecture? You're gonna have to master a few tricks if you're gonna build three complete dream levels. Excuse me. In a dream, you can cheat architecture into impossible shapes. That lets you create closed loops, like the Penrose Steps, the Infinite Staircase. Paradox.